so this is uh, the base layer. You want to make sure you've got it the right way around. I've got it currently upside down, i.e. I can read the logo, etc. And that's not the idea. Uh, I want to be able to read that when the unit's upside down, so I've got to turn it over. And I've now got my first number zero up there on the upper left. So I'm going to just follow the instructions, and it's layer one and two. And again, you can see the one here, you can see the two here. So we've now got ourselves the first, let's say, 012 in place, and we're going to insert the actual Raspberry Pi board itself. So on the Raspberry Pi board, it's just worth having a little look and getting familiar with the Raspberry Pi board before you pop it in case, because it will make a lot more sense about what the case is doing and how this is going to fit in here. So on the very, very bottom, on this side here, you've got the receiver end for the SD card, okay? So when you're assembling just even these three layers, what you'll have noticed is on the very bottom purple layer, I'm going to try and angle this, I'm not doing this too well actually, let's try and get that again. The very, very bottom layer, so underneath this blue, I'm going to just take the blue off temporarily, and you can see this even clearer now, that's a much better way of doing it. You can see that there's a, a, a cut through and a gap here, not just to allow the SD card to be pushed in, but also uh, a reinforcing bit of acrylic, not just for this ring layer, but also it's going to help support uh, some areas of the Raspberry Pi board. So it's a nice definable area that's going to support the actual Raspberry Pi within the unit. Okay, now obviously I meant to have this layer and I took it off just to show you that in a little bit more detail. So let's get back to the plan. And we have here 0, 1, 2. Then in goes the Raspberry Pi. Again, the SD side just slotting down through layer two onto layer one so it's just fitting. Now all this is gonna wobble around, you know, it's it's certainly not held in place by anything, but already I can see that that's fitting how it's meant to fit. And now we can start adding some other real colors. So we have layer three, and you do need to be dropping these on top of the units. So this has been done to, uh, to fit around and to really uh, build up uh, a really nice feel to the board and all you've got to do is to make sure that the Raspberry Pi is, is well seated etc and each time you put a layer on just make sure you're not snagging anywhere and a little bit of uh, playing and you'll very quickly uh, have a nice smooth layer to then apply the next layer and then of course layer 4 don't quite think I need to count through these with you and now the orange layer red layer. Now I'm not quite sure what I'm going to call this, whether you call this maroon or uh, I'm not sure. So uh, okay, and another um, purpley red layer on top and then finally the case. Again make sure you've got this right, right around. This time I do want to read all this, all these symbols so um, I've got here all the indication for the lights, the, the USB above the USB sockets uh, the network co connectivity above the network sockets, etc. So I know I've got the right, right way around, and I'm going to just hold this in my hands, hoping it doesn't all slide and fall out of my hands. And I can see I've got myself really snug layers. I've got nothing wrong here, and although it's not perfectly lined up, I know I've not got any uh, problems with my lining up, and I can also see that the case and all the supplied layers are doing the right job. Now then, I need four of these five. Um, nuts and bolts that they've supplied me and I guess it's a choice for you which way up you want the let's say the the nut and which way you want the head personally I'm going to have the uh, screw head end on the bottom and the nut on the top and I don't think that's because I'm going to have anything proud ticking up I just uh, I personally think it's uh, aesthetically I think uh, the screw head makes for me a little bit of a better foot it's round and of course, uh, I'm not saying the nut has sharp edges, but it's uh, there are no corners on a circle. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to for that approach. And if I change my mind, it's only going to be a five-minute job to unslide some of these and uh, to reposition. Now I am literally finding and feeling my way through here because although they're lined up, the very first one I'm not perfect. I can already see by the separation that I haven't quite found my corner here. So I might have to. Do a little bit of cheating here, and that just needed that little bit of alignment. And I can see now I've got myself my very first screw all the way through there. Now I'm going to just quickly hand thread one of these nuts on top, and they really don't need the tools, uh, any tools. However, Pibo have supplied you. I'm not peeled off the white layer on this, but they've supplied you an acrylic tool that perfectly fits over the nut and acts as a really nice simple tool so it really is no tools required you can use your nail or a, 
a very fat uh, flat head screwdriver to just support this side and I'm going to just do quickly one more just so I get a bit of stability but as you can see it's a lot easier the second one because of course I've already got all the the main layout uh, lay up line up sorry for the layers and it should be really straightforward case now now the the the, the um, the nuts, the screws, etc., are pretty flexible, so I'm finding it uh, they do bend a little bit, not detrimentally so. Uh, possibly that's why they supplied me five. Possibly people have had problems lining up, but I've now got all four in. I'm going to just quickly hand screw again. I'm not going to tighten this up yet. I want to just show you a few more things before I uh, I go and do that, just so that the uh, cover doesn't fall off. Now, personally, I, I'm hoping you're going to agree, you can already see this quite funky coloration going on here. This is really quite a, uh, a fun and uh, joyful colour set they've got here. So it's a real kind of rainbow going on here, which I guess is why they've called the uh, product a Pibo. And just about there, make sure you get the threads right. Obviously, you've got to be a little bit careful here. So one thing I mentioned at the very, very beginning is that, and you can see this a little bit on the very red layer, so there's actually a recess here, and what that recess is for is just allowing enough room for a ribbon cable to come out. So if you have actually got a connector, a ribbon connector plugged into the Raspberry Pi, you can take off the top layer, the colour I can't quite name, whether it be a, a burgundy or a maroon, not sure, but then you get down to the red layer and you can, you've then got a simple case of getting the cable plugged in, ribbon cable out to the side, and then you want to pop back the next top two, three layers and reattach, etc. So this case already uh, has the mod to allow you to have the uh, expansion cables, etc. So that's quite a nice feature. I have a, another case uh, where that's actually um, uh, a change, uh, it requires a change of the side. So this case is already kind of prepared for that. Um, this case, and like a lot of the cases, is very much relying on all the socketry on the circuit board, so the USB uh, case connectors, the network connector, the HDMI connector, etc., um, actually supports the circuit board. Nothing loose at all, so I'm modeling that quite violently. It feels and looks really nice, as you can see where the line out of all the uh, the uh, holes are for uh, allow ventilation, etc. Of course, the, uh, the screws act as slight feet so I've now got what do I say maybe three four millimeters uh, ground clearance nothing amazing there are no rubber feet uh, in with this which uh, no no real issue I don't think it needs it it's a, it feels like a quite a soft uh, acrylic or nylon these uh, these white threads don't believe there's gonna be any issues there and like I say I've got it so the nuts are facing up just to avoid um, any other possible risk and I'm gonna just very gently hand tighten these now so using the tool supplied it's really very finger light touch. I don't want to tighten this up at all. Uh, sorry, snugly at all. This is really just a case of a little bit of compression um, and just really making sure that there's a little bit of bite from the nut onto the thread so that it's not going to just undo with general handling and uh, moving the, the pie about. Certainly, I don't want to leave the, uh, the top to fall off when I'm doing things. So, there we have a pie bow case. Um, it's really rather snazzy and uh, clear tops and bottoms.